Hey guys, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini. What are they currently feeling and thinking about me? Uh, so this is going to be for the month of April 2021. Um, for the Capricorns, uh, for the Capricorns that are dealing with someone currently where they don't know where to stand, where they stand with someone uh, because, you know, they are refusing to communicate or they ghosted you or something like that. Um, so we are going to take a look at what your person's currently feeling and thinking about you. And then we'll finish off the read with um, what do they want from you. Uh, so yeah, so this is a love reading, but you know, you could apply to it you know, anyone. It doesn't have to be with a partner. It could be with, you know, a friend, a family member, or a co-worker. So just take it as it resonates. Um, and uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get the up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up so that this message can circulate around to the people that need to hear this message. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. And if you're interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description, is in the description box uh, below. All right, so let's get started. <sighs> Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their current feelings for Gemini? What are they currently thinking about Gemini here for April 2021? We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy, the Magician. Virgo, Gemini Energy, the Six of Cups. And then the Justice card, Libra Energy. We have the King of Swords on the bottom with the deck here. So what are they currently feeling and thinking about you? I don't know. I just feel like maybe your person might have some options here. It's like, I feel like your person sees you as someone that's very stable, you know, uh, financially, emotionally. But I don't know if, like, because there's just Six of Cups here. I don't know if, like, I don't know if your person feels like you have an option or, uh, you know, uh, an ex here or that they have an ex. I feel like your person sees you as someone that is very resourceful, like you have everything together. But I don't know, yeah, I just feel like there's maybe another energy here that is balancing, that balances them out or that, you know, Maybe there's some sort of unfinished business here with a past person. Some karma that needs to be cleared out. Um, let's see, get some more messages here. What's going on with this emperor? Ooh. So when I was shuffling, the justice card flip, flipped over and then we have the six of cups again. We'll see if those come back out. Swords. Mm. I mean, 
I feel like your person is viewing you as someone that's like immature. Maybe someone that doesn't really communicate well. <sighs> Let's see, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. And then the Ace of Swords. I feel like, I feel like your person wants you to communicate what you want. I feel like your person knows what you want, but you're not communicating that you want this like Ten of, Cup, uh, Ten of Pentacles energy with them. Tell me about the King of Cups. You have the Magician again. So we have the Magician two times here. Tell me about the Magician. And then the Three of Pentacles. What's going on with the uh, Six of Cups? You have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Tell me about the Justice card. And then the Four of Swords. And then the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know, I do feel like there might be some unfinished business here that you haven't, someone here hasn't released in the past. You know, the Six of Cups and the de Death card. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if someone's trying to manifest some sort of communication with this past person. I, um, I don't, I don't feel that, but I feel like someone here is still thinking about someone in the past. It's like someone is trying to move forward or trying to, you know, manifest a new path for themselves, but I feel like your person's viewing you as someone that or that, that they're feeling or thinking that you might have a past person that you have unfinished business with. Um, yeah, they, they feel that you don't communicate well. I feel like your person knows that you want this, but it's like they're not sure if you want it with them or someone else. Um, I don't know if like there is like People emotionally trying to manipulate you because um, I, I feel like there are other people involved. I don't know if like someone like a friend or a family member is telling someone that, you know, uh, maybe give this ex another chance or something like that because it just feels as though here, like I just feel like someone hasn't released the past yet. Or maybe someone has like some childhood issues here because you, you do have a page here too with the, the page of swords, uh, which is an indication that, you know, there might have been some sort of abuse going on or abandonment. Um, you have the uh, justice card and the four of swords. All right, let's see. All right, tell me about a Gemini's person. What does Gemini want from their, uh, uh, want from Gemini? What does uh, Gemini's person want from Gemini for April 2021? What does Gemini need to know about their person? What does Gemini's person want from Gemini? Ace of Swords. So, Gemini, I mean, you guys are usually pretty good at communication, tell, you know, telling it like it is, that sort of thing. But I feel like your person wants you to communicate, like, the truth about what you want. Um, you have the Ace of Swords here again. All right. You have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and then the uh, Nine of Cups. You have the Strength card on the bottom of the deck here, Leo energy. I just feel like someone, I just feel like your person wants you to show more interest. I guess be more romantic, be more passionate, and um, basically speak the truth about what you want. Because it feels like your person doesn't know. Let's 
you know, or there's a there's another storyline that's coming to me that maybe that this emperor or this masculine energy is communicating everything to you uh, what they want, but maybe someone needs a lot of assurance, you know, so um, take it as it resonates. And, you know, I'm only speaking from the perspective of your person, but I mean, you could take it as if it's from your perspective, um, Gemini, so the roles could be flipped or reversed here. All right, tell me about this Ace of Swords. You have the Strength card. Yeah, I feel as though someone here wants someone to cough up the courage here to speak the truth. Because you have the Ace of Swords here two times. Tell me about the uh, Knight, uh, you know, the King of Pentacles. And then you have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. And then the Two of Cups. Someone's wanting higher levels of commitment here. Yeah. So I feel like your person's wanting higher levels of commitment. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Wands and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. So there is like a soulmate connection here. But there's a past energy here that someone hasn't released yet. I'm feeling that someone's trying to release some karma here before they get into something with someone. Yeah, I just feel like a, a past person here has not been released. That's why maybe things are slow to happen here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. And then you have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. What's going on with this Nine of Cups? And then the Eight of Wands. Okay. You have the Four of Cups here. Yeah, I just feel like your person's feeling here with this Four of Cups, like they're not good enough. I feel like your person has offered you, you know, a cup of love, but this person, you know, just feels rejected. Like they're not enough. I just feel like maybe there are some other people involved talking into your ear, you know, maybe telling you to hold off on, you know, moving towards higher levels of commitment here. Um, yeah, I'm just getting an energy, maybe like your friends or your circle of people, your environment has the best interests for you to basically release something in the past before you get into something with someone else, which is very logical. Yes, it's a smart thing to do. Yeah. All right. You know, the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Strength card, the King of Pentacles being clarified by the um, Hierophant. I mean, if someone's looking for commitment and marriage, seems like the, someone is not quite ready for it. I mean, someone's not really communicating that even though they want it. A past person still needs to be released. Someone's just wanting some honest communication because it seems like someone is not communicating honestly or that someone is communicating honestly to someone, but someone is needing like a lot of assurance, reassurance, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands, The Lovers. Yeah, I feel like someone wants you to be more romantic and show more passion towards this connection. Yeah, there might be a sense of boredom too with the Four of Cups here. All right, we have the Ten of Wands being clarified by the uh, Chariot. The Nine of Cups being clarified by the Eight of Wands. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm getting that someone's feeling that you are maybe bouncing between two people. Someone from the past, too. So, um, Gemini, this is your general love reading. Um, what are they currently feeling and thinking about? me or you. Um, if this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.